Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Monster Mosey review video. Today we are taking a look at the second mix assortment of the singles, Zombie Invasion. And these will finish off the singles packs actually for this series. As I mentioned in my previous video where I reviewed way earlier in this year, the mix one assortment with these four, which included Pirates, Curse Zombie, Megalodon, Northern Nightmare, and the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Uh, these are only the singles packs, so there are no hunters in the singles packs because the Monster Gym and Spin Master teams designed them to be like a real zombie movie where there's more zombies than there are the survivors or the hunters. So we are seeing a single packs assortments of just zombies uh, to outrun the uh, apocalypse survivors. And there are a lot of trucks that uh, they made that I don't agree with completely, but uh, only one of them is in this actual assortment. So. Today we're going to start off here with my least favorite, but not the worst one, which is the Zombie Blue Thunder. Uh, and I meant uh, not the worst one by the fact that it's not in this review, actually. I'll show you guys the worst one in the Double Packs review, in my opinion. Not that it's terrible, it's just not my favorite. Uh, Blue Thunder is also kind of low on the list. I mentioned this uh, to its designer, actually. And there's a reason why, and I can't explain the reason why until we see something in 2021. So hang in tight, I promise, like I promised in my Mix 1 review, I will tell you the story of the zombies in the future. Just not now, because I can't. But uh, there is a reason why these exist, some of these exist, and uh, why they're less exciting than the others. Blue Thunder is one of those trucks, and, you know, it's not terrible. Also not the most attractive uh, design to be combined into a zombie form. Uh, I think they could have done a better looking horsepower, sparkle smash, anything to do with an animal, oxygenator. Um, but yeah, Blue Thunder was not the one to go with, in my opinion, for the Zombie Invasion series, unless they did something different with the colors, and I'll talk about that right now. But first, I want to talk about the assortment, which you already saw on screen, but there's the back of the card. Everyone likes to see that. So we're ready. Let's unbox the first one of Mix 2, which is the Blue Thunder Zombie, right now. And I've already detailed the packaging before, so if you guys have not seen my other video, I'll, I'll link at the end of this so you can check it out. But there's some cool details that they added to it. Uh, but there's the logo for Blue Thunder, obviously a bloody red uh, looks like a wound right there. And then we have the truck itself, which is uh, instead of blue, like usual, it is actually green. And the past Blue Thunders that we have had for special series or normal have been obviously the standard blue color. And keeping with that blue color, they made the ice Blue Thunder, which honestly I think is a better design than the zombie because it has the ice cracking as if it's a frozen lake or something. Instead of using lightning, they did the cracks in the ice. And it was a very successful design, I must say. Um, but, you know, there's a big difference. Actually, I just realized a huge difference. Um... That is a huge difference. They changed the slogan from the Blue Thunder. I was having a feeling that Feel the Power is way different than what it usually says. So this is the first Blue Thunder to say Feel the Power instead of Feel the Energy. I'm not sure if they're changing the slogan for Blue Thunder. Maybe we'll see that change in 2021 in the real life circuit. But that's interesting. That's actually the first time we're seeing that. Um, but anyway, you can see the tailgate is way different also than standard uh, Blue Thunders. We have usually the lightning or some sort of effect like that, but we actually have just a spray paint uh, looking or bloody looking feel the power with some goo. That's kind of interesting. They definitely changed up the design uh, standard for Blue Thunder there, but the other sides actually remain very similar to the other counterparts. So we, uh, I've already looked at the ice one and it doesn't really have much significance with this one because we're comparing it to the normal one. But here is the normal Blue Thunder compared to the zombie. And as you can see, the green body, a bright uh, neon green color instead of the dark blue. And then we have, instead of lightning, we have actually uh, arteries or veins uh, popping out in the blue color. What I had suggested to Neil, the designer of this truck, was to make the logo blue and make the arteries red because it would look much better, make more sense. But the blue arteries, you know, it's kind of a strange, or the veins kind of a strange color. Um, I'm also noticing, I'm not sure if it's a mistake or not, uh, there is either smaller veins or they just forgot to remove the lightning off of the roof on this sample or the final production. That is interesting. Um, if we look closely, there is lightning, and that looks exactly like this one. I think they just forgot to remove it. Um, mine might be early samples. Sometimes that happens, so don't freak out. Uh, sometimes that does happen, and I kind of have to 
um, ignore it because they won't be there on the final one. We'll see. That might be just a, a very simple mistake that they just didn't catch. That's pretty interesting. But there's the roof panel with the arteries or the veins and the wounds, the goo, and then the hood here with the same veins effect to make up for the lightning, the blue thunder logo, and the side panel with the same things and the mushroom logo. Uh, no negative spacebar print and no uh, taillight printing, unlike uh, the normal one, which does have that. And uh, there's this side, a little different with some more uh, wounds and stuff. And then the front here, this is something I complained about with the last mix, which had the Northern Nightmare and also the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Uh, they did not print headlights in them or a grill for this specific model. I don't agree with them doing that because I think that they've been so good with printing in the headlights. I think they should continue doing it on all series. And they even did it for the Fire and Ice. So it's kind of unfortunate that they went down with the detail on that. But it's, um, you know, it's a minor thing because they got a pretty good wrap going on here. But uh, they also did include the MossGym.com. So that's a little interesting that they did that instead of the headlights. But um, there it is anyway. And then we have a red roll cage, a black chassis, uh, bright neon rims, and the tires. So there is the Blue Thunder. And you can see the green windshield there as well. And next up on the list, uh, these are no longer going in my order, my favorites, because these are all really cool. Um, this one's another really awesome design. And one that also was not supposed to exist, although it did make it out uh, for the reason that I will explain in the future, which is the Monster Mutt Rottweiler. And Monster Mutt Rottweiler is one of the three original Monster Mutt dogs that they made. Um, and as you probably know, they made the fire edition of Rottweiler in Fire and Ice. And obviously they've made a couple of different normal Monster Mutt Rottweilers in the past. And the casting work on Rottweiler is one of the best castings they've done straight from the 3D original renders of the Monster Jam truck. Uh, and I mentioned this when this first came out, Rottweiler, that this is one of my favorite um, transfer castings from 3D form into the actual die cast. So the body itself I have no problem with and I love that they include the stubby tail and the ear detail. So they continue to do that with this edition, obviously continuing to have that continuity. And here is Rottweiler. So you can see the degraded tag there with the Monster Mutt logo in bloody form. So let's unbox it right now. And we have seen a Monster Mutt uh, edition of the zombie truck in the double packs from Mix 1, which came with Earthshaker. I do not have that one on my desk to show you, but uh, this is the next edition of a zombie Monster Mutt. We will also have a Monster Mutt Dalmatian zombie in the Mix 2 assortment, which you will see soon. So it's a pretty cool truck. I mean, this truck is definitely different than the others. They usually are going with a green theme, as Blue Thunder had, and actually almost all of the other trucks have this basic uh, neon green theme. This one cuts out of that, and it's one of the only ones that actually does this. Um, if not, well, no, actually Dragon does it too, but this is the only bright yellow edition of a zombie truck. And you, as you can see, there's just a ton of detail, uh, dried blood, uh, new wounds, all this stuff with some green coming out of the ear. Uh, we have orange ears, which is a big change from different past editions of Rottweiler. The one we had with the fire had red, but these orange ears definitely make a different tone. And the same with the orange tail. We have the monster mutt uh, tag there with the blood coming off of it and the uh, tag is actually painted in red. We have the mouth with the bloody teeth and the cracking bloody lips with this goo coming out of its mouth. Very similar, nice little catch there uh, to the fire uh, coming out of the mouth of the fire demon dog Rottweiler. And then uh, this is the hood here with the same dried blood detail, the orange eyebrows to match the ears and the tail, uh, green windshield, orange nose, whiskers, and here's this side with a different looking detail. As you can see, more, uh, a much different wound style with the goo coming out of the mouth on the bottom and the logo in bloody red dripping uh, effect. So a very nice truck with a red roll cage, black chassis and uh, yellow rims to change up the uh, different colors. So that's pretty cool. So Rottweiler, actually one of my favorite zombie trucks, I must say. And next up is the Crazy Bull, which is El Toro Loco, one of the most popular Monster Jam trucks. And as you well know, it is a team captain or was a team captain of Team Ice with Scott Buto behind the wheel. So we have had a Team Ice edition of El Toro Loco. And we also have had many different editions of the El Toro Loco in the singles packs. Uh, this is the Legacy Trucks edition from earlier this year, way earlier, back in Mix 10. And as you can see, it has the Tour Accurate Flames, but that does not matter with this one because it's way different than uh, the regular orange. So we'll check it out, though. Let's unbox it, the Zombie El Toro Loco, right now. So back when I previewed these back at World Finals 20, uh, this was one of the four they showed me. I saw two zombie trucks that day, which were Gravedigger zombie and El Troloco zombie. I also saw the two hunters trucks, which you will see in mix two, um, not knowing what mix one uh, those ones were. But this is one of them. It brings back a lot of memories from that day, previewing these at World Finals 20. So it's nice to see the final product finally come back and make it out. 
And as you can see here, we have a dark maroon body, almost like it's been burned, uh, very similar to that of the burn victim zombie from the uh, World Finals Encore. So very similar, nice tones, lots of detail, even on the negative space bar. And as you can see there, the dripping green and yellow Ultra Loco logo with the Monstrum logo, some cracking in the I guess the flesh of the bull, I'm not sure. It kind of looks uh, strange there, but you can see there's some cracks and also some wounds with some goo coming off the bottom and the mouth. The teeth are cracked up in certain places with the lip cracking on the edge. And then we have uh, nothing on the chin hairs this time, uh, but some shading detail. And then we have a cracking uh, nose ring with the goo coming out of the nose instead of as we had with the regular, obviously fire. And then we have also usually the ice one for that. So that's pretty cool to have that detail. And then we have some more wounds into the crack, green windshield, and a huge crack on the roof where the horns are with the green kind of spilling out of it. Uh, a nice yellow and black horn uh, set up here matches the roll cage and chassis. And then the tailgate with El Toro Loco and there's some more wounds. I kind of wish they would have put monstrum.com like they've been doing. It fills in that area pretty nice and they've had it on both editions of El Toro Loco uh, for special and non-special. Um, and okay, so mine's an early sample. As you can tell, this happens sometimes. Mine does not have a left side panel. Uh, that's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I just unboxed an error. That's my bad, I didn't realize that before. Um, as you guys will see in your packs, they will not look like this. So don't worry, this just happens sometimes. So there it is, El Toro Loco, this side panel. I don't know what this side looks like. I'm sure it's way different than the other side. I apologize. Um, but if I get to this before my review comes out, which I don't think it will, I'll change in uh, a new clip with it on there. But this likely will be it for this review of this El Toro Loco. So there's this side panel with red rims and uh, the standard tires for zombies. So there's El Toro Loco. And then we have the last truck for the singles packs, which is some of the favorites. Uh, this is one of the favorites, actually, I should say, of the community so far that I've seen from our preview posts, which is the dragon. And this is the dragon zombie. And we've had a normal dragon many times. We all know this many times with the normal dragon, uh, the brand new casting, obviously the new truck um, mold that they've been using for a couple of years now. Um, and then we have that one. We've also had Team Ice Dragon, as we saw in the real life circuit. And it's one of the cooler ones of Team Ice and Team Fire. So there's the Ice Dragon. And now we have the zombified one. And this is one of the coolest looking trucks. I mean, look at that cool eyeball. So let's unbox it. And I just want to do a quick spot check. Yes, okay, it does have a left side panel, unlike El Toro Loco. And here is the Bloody Dragon logo. And then we have the dragon itself. So here's the right side. As I mentioned, they are always different on both sides. There's different wounds and stuff to look at on each side. Um, so that's pretty cool. But here's this side with the black teeth, the mouth, the dragon logo and blood coming out of the mouth like the fire usually is. Uh, the Monstrum logo, some wings, um, damage, and then we have the eyeball, which has no pupil, which makes it look really sinister. And then the hood here with some goo, uh, some blood spots, some wounds, black, uh, these little horns here. And then we actually have the real horns on the roof in a red to black gradient. I'm sorry, I should say spikes for these and the horns here with the red to black gradient. I love the horn color, um, very, very nice. It's very similar to that of the overcast dragon uh, when we had that back in 2019. So there it is. And then the green windshield. And then this side has some different details, more wing damage, uh, different wounds around the eyeball and the same bloody uh, dragon logo with a green roll cage, black chassis and yellow rims for this one. So that will conclude the second assortment and the final assortment of the singles packs for the Zombie vs. Hunters. I apologize again for El Toro Loco. Either it's an error or just an early sample, but mine does not have a left side panel. So we'll look at it from this point of view, but I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I can't wait to see your guys' reaction and hear your guys' comments and feedback about these. Let us know what you think about them, and they will be coming to your stores very soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. This is Ryder Monster OCD, signing out.